When it comes to buying investment property in South Africa, the first thing you need to know is what exactly is investment property? And secondly, where does one start looking for this type of property? Here to answer all these questions is private property CEO Simon Bray. Simon, so good to see you again. And you, Very and first you. question, thank you. What exactly is investment property? Well, I think the simplest way to describe investing in property mm. is not living in the property. Okay. So there are a couple of reasons why someone would invest in property. Yeah. Uh, the one is you would buy a property and you'd rent it out. And there you're looking for rental yield and you're effectively looking for someone else mm -hmm. paying the rental to pay the bond or the mortgage that you've got yes. on the place. Uh, and in time you're going to see some capital growth. The other type of investing is where you buy a place that perhaps needs some work and you've got an eye for that kind of detail and you understand how to budget and how to spend mm -hmm. and you're going to renovate it and then flip it for a higher price. So both of those are really sound investment options if you know what you're doing. Exactly. Okay, so if I was thinking of buying or looking into such a property, what would be the first things that I would need to consider when searching for a property like this? Well, if we talk about the, the one that most people think of when you're talking investment property, and that's buying to rent. So there's this idea that you want to buy a place and then put a tenant in it. You've got to think completely unemotionally yeah. about it. And that's, I think, what people battle with. When yeah. it comes to property, there's always this emotional connection. Do I like it? Is it in a place that I would live? But when it comes to investing in property, you actually need to treat it like a business. Okay. So draw up a business plan. Uh, put down what is the financial commitment that you want to make, uh, what can you afford, what do you intend to get out of it financially, mm -hmm. the location, look at the location through the eyes of good data, good statistics, you know, what are the prices doing in the area, what are the rental demands looking mm -hmm. like in the area, and then you should look at the type of property, I mean some types of properties are fantastic to live yeah. and own for 20 years, you know, okay. bring your family up and all of that, but uh, not all of them are geared towards renting them out. So look at two bedroom flats and apartments, mm. they're very, very popular with tenants. A uh, broad spectrum of people are kind of in that market. Yeah. And I think the last thing is the type of tenant that you want to address. Yeah. Uh, tenant demand tends to really be in the young or the older. So mm. you're talking about students, you know, student accommodation and small lock up and go places mm. or places for retirees. So those some good points to look for when you're investing. Now, and just like from my notes that I've made here, finances, location, type of property, type of tenant, those are really important things. Now, let's Thanks. talk about the tenant part because I know that's always yeah. a very difficult situation. How does one go about acquiring the right type of tenant for your property? I mean, it's critically important, right? Uh, this, is your, this is your little business, this yeah. is your investment, and when you're picking your tenant, you're effectively picking your business partner. So you've got to be really, really careful who you let into the property up front. It's like hiring someone, you know, hire hard and you won't yeah. have to manage them. Uh, so get your property out there on online platforms mm -hmm. like ours. Make sure that it's advertised as widely as possible. Take as many tenants through as you can until you feel that the fit is right. Uh, and then there are lots of great services that you can use on our platform or others where you can check on a tenant's credit history okay. or you can get a reference from their previous uh, landlord. It's really good to do the background checks to do the research that you need. Talking about background checks, um, I know that there's a lot of scams and yeah. a lot of fraudsters out there selling property, putting things out there on the net that's not really true. How does one get around this and protect yourself from these fraudsters? No, it's a, it's a really tricky part of our business actually. You know, you're dealing with people that might list a property online and it's a fraudulent listing and then they'll, you know, they realize and they prey upon the fact that there are lots of tenants and very few properties on the market for rent. So they'll call you up and say, uh, if you want it, you're going to have to pay a deposit before three o'clock yeah. uh, and you haven't even seen the place, you don't even know if the guy owns it. Mm -hmm. So we put a lot of effort to uh, clean up that kind of scam. Okay. Uh, every single listing that you'll see on private property has actually been verified. We call up the landlord and we find out whether they own the property or whether they know someone that owns the property. Okay. So we do our best to get rid of that fraud. Thank you. <laughs> but you're right, it's a, it's a tricky, yeah. tricky business and yeah. it's worth just uh, uh, being aware of it and being cautious. Okay, but it's good to know that there are people out there that are protecting you from that and yeah we try that's we, good that's good okay and one last thing the whole issue around landlords tenants where can one go to get advice around that because that can also be a tricky issue as well right 
It's amazing how many questions people have when it comes to renting our property. Yeah. You know, tenants, uh, you know, what are my rights? Mm. Uh, uh, what do I need to sign in a, in a lease? Uh, what do deposits look like? And then on the landlord side, it's also really, really important. You know, what if my tenant's not paying my electricity? Yeah. Uh, what if uh, they're denying me access to the property? So we see these types of questions all the mm. time. We get expert panelists to come and comment on articles. And then we put it into a, you know, a real easy to use database awesome. of information and advice. So if you are in the market, either as a tenant or a landlord and you've got questions, we do have a, a space for you to come and uh, answer those right. questions. So basically the private property website is a one-stop shop for everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, we like to think of ourselves as basically the, the premier okay. rental platform in the country. We've got uh, more rental listings than most. We've got fantastic uh, resources in terms of information and insight. So if you are in the market to either uh, buy a place and let it out or you're a tenant looking for one of those uh, properties then you know we're the right place to come. Wonderful and uh, what is our Simon Bray tip of the day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I think buying to let is a great opportunity to make money it's a sound investment but you need to realize uh, you know are you picking it for the right rental demand areas and uh, are you looking at the costs of ownership closely enough to ensure that you make the money at the end? I always feel more confident and competent every time you're here. So be sure to follow the right steps when purchasing an investment property. You can swing by www.privateproperty.co.za to visit their news and advice pages as well as perhaps search for that perfect investment property for you.